Hey guys, so I saw a video a few days ago, I think it's from about a month or so ago, from Plant Eats, the YouTube channel Plant Eats. Uh, he did a video on, uh, well I think the video was on several different things, but it had a section in it about Fully Raw Christina and this little sentence that she has on her website where she says that she has a triple major in, I can never say that, kinesiology? That's it. Uh, specializing in health science, raw foods, and fasting. So he actually contacted the kinesiology department um, of Rice University. And this is what they told me. They do not offer any specialization in nutrition. Not only that, but I was told, and I quote, Rice University considers raw vegan diets on the fringe of mainstream nutrition. And so they stick to a more recognized set of nutrition principles. And we all know what more recognized nutrition principles are. Uh-huh. A little meat on the side and a lot of dairy for strong bones and teeth. So it would appear that Christina also lacks the education necessary to promote any diet book, not to mention a, and I quote her alma mater, a fringe diet like raw veganism. So this is not surprising to me at all. Um, as a former raw foodist who has met many of the uh, big league raw foodists like Christina. Um, I haven't, I don't think I actually met Christina, but we were in the same vicinity. Uh, we both went to the Woodstock Fruit Festival. I believe it was 2012, the one that I went to. She was there, but I don't think we actually even interacted at all. Yeah, so as someone who has met these people and who was a former raw foodist, um, I know all too well the tendency for raw food educators, raw food leaders to kind of expand the scope of their credentials, if they have any, to make it seem as though they are an expert in nutrition or even to just like flat out fabricate their credentials. So Doug Graham has done it, Dr. Doug Graham. He's a doctor in uh, chiropractic medicine. I'm, he might have lost his license in Florida, actually. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, but he he's, I don't wanna talk about Doug Graham. Many of you know the awful, awful things that he has done. If you are unclear, you can check out uh, I believe her name was Leah, her fasting experience with him. I believe that video is still up. I'm sure someone will find it and share it in the comments. So yeah, if you're interested, check that out. My point here is just that he is or was a chiropractor. A chiropractor is not a dietitian, even though they love to present themselves as experts in nutrition, they aren't. Another one, uh, Dr. Sam is what I knew him as. I actually did meet him uh, again at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. His name is Samuel A. Milkarski. Again, we just called him Dr. Sam. That's what he goes by. He is a doctor of physical therapy, as he had a doctor of physical therapy uh, degree, but he also, if you go to his website, he has like health coaching where he teaches stuff on nutrition and disease prevention. Again, his degree is in physical therapy, nothing to do with nutrition or disease prevention. Final one I want to talk about is Don Bennett. Now, Don Bennett is a really interesting case. He calls himself a disease avoidance specialist. That's not a thing. <laughs> he made up that uh, degree, that distinction. It's it's not a real thing. If you look up disease avoidance specialist, you will only find stuff on Don Bennett be because he made it up. Um, I tried to find, I believe there was an interview or an article or something uh, where he actually talked about that, like admitting that he just made it up, uh, but I couldn't find it. So if anyone knows what I'm talking about that, uh, talking about, please share it in the uh, comments. So to be clear, aside from Doug Graham, who I truly believe is an evil human being, um, does not care about other people or their well-being. Um, the other people, you know, I haven't met Christina, but I have met Don. I met him at the Woodstock Fruit Festival, again, I think 2012. The same with Dr. Sam. I met him there as well. These were both nice people. These were two of the nicest people I met at the event. I talked to Don uh, for several minutes. Really nice guy. I talked to Sam a little bit. I went to one of his uh, little exercise events. Again, really, really nice. Just seemed like a genuine person and both seemed like they like they really wanted to help people. My point here is that it's not as clear cut as these people are just trying to deceive you, right? They are just trying, they're like, ooh, if I put this, if I say that I'm a doctor of physical therapy, they'll they'll think that I'm an expert in nutrition and they'll listen to me and they'll buy my books and I'll make money. Like it's 
not that clear cut. Um, you know, again, I, I mentioned this video just recently, but again, that, that video I did on freely uh, lying versus delusion, I think there is a lot of uh, deluding going on here. A lot of it has to do with the way in which they view experts. This is how they're able to justify their use of these degrees. Um, a lot of people within the raw food movement view experts with incredible amounts of uh, skepticism, like unhealthy amounts of skepticism, and even disdain in some cases. So dietitians, you know, they're, they're all paid off by the food industry, so you can't trust them. And doctors, well, they're paid off by the drug companies, by the pharmaceutical companies, by big pharma, so of course you can't trust them. As a result, these people like Don and Sam, they really view themselves as experts. They view themselves as saviors, really. And because of that, you know, if they have to beef up their credentials a little bit or even make up some credentials, that's okay because at the end of the day, they're sharing the truth with you, capital T. They're sharing the truth and saving lives. And sure, they will likely make more money if they have some credentials, some little letters at the end of their name. I'm sure they know this. I'm sure Christina knows this. She is selling books after all. But again, I've met Don and Sam and neither one of them were rolling in the dough in any way at all, particularly Don. And if you go to his website, even still, I mean, he doesn't sell his books for exorbitant amounts of money. Again, he really comes across to me as just someone trying to help someone. Unfortunately, he is being uh, harmful instead of helpful. I guess my point is that it's easy for people to justify things, particularly if they think what they're doing is going to save lives or if it's going to help them sell more books. I guess finally I'd like to talk a little bit more about the uh, fruit festival. I haven't really talked about it here on this channel. I had an interesting experience there. Um, honestly, everyone was nice. There were some smells. I think I've talked about that before. There was some serious, oh, some serious body odor there. Now that could just be because look, there are a lot of, there were like, uh, I can't remember if it was like 200 or 400 people. There were a lot of people, so it could just be that. Or it could be that you're dealing with a lot of natural people who think that because they eat fruit, they don't have to shower regularly or use soap. It could be that too, I don't really know. But man, there were some, oh, there were some really intense smells in that place. I've been in really crowded, people-packed areas before and um, I don't remember that much body odor. So uh, yeah, it was pretty intense. But also I had, I think, really my kind of uh, realization that things weren't right <laughs> with me being kind of involved in this movement. Um, I think it kind of started there. It might have started a little bit earlier, but uh, basically when I arrived, I didn't actually stay in the cabins there. Basically everybody stayed in, in cabins, so you slept there. It was a, it was a week-long thing, I think. I think it was a week-long thing. I didn't actually stay there. I stayed in a hotel because um, honestly, it felt kind of culty. Again, everyone was really nice. I didn't have any poor experiences with people there. It just, it really hit home to me that, wow, I am meeting with a bunch of people solely because of how we eat. We're literally meeting, not because we're vegan, but because we all eat fruit. <laughs> That's why we're all getting together. Um, and I, I don't know, as soon as I got there and there were all these people and I'm sitting there listening to like the opening ceremony, it just really hit me that 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 I'm, I'm meeting with people because we eat a lot of dates and bananas. Something, something is not, something's not right here. So uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you Woodstock Fruit Festival to opening, for opening my eyes to the, uh, the, the crazy. I guess. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you know of any other kind of raw food leaders who do this, um, these are the only ones I could really think of off the top of my head, but you know, I'm not really in the raw scene anymore. So I don't know if there are like newer people now who do this kind of stuff. I really, I really don't know. I know if you search like raw food, anything pretty much fully raw is like the first thing that comes up. So, um, I don't know. The whole thing is a lot different than it used to be. Right. When I was still in it, Doug Graham was like one of the number one guys, at least in like the low fat, high fruit scene. Right. 
Um, and of course, when I first got in it, that was like a really, really small, that was like a niche within a niche thing. And then it got bigger the longer I was in it. Anyway, I don't want to get into that. But if you guys know of any others, of course, leave them down below. It's, it's very, very interesting to me. And of course, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. That's awesome. And I will have a new video very soon.